Taiwan is set to launch the cool module of its first permanent space station in just one hour. And the module named Tianhe will be lifted into space by a Long March 5B Y2 rocket. Uh, the rocket is undergoing final preparations to prepare for the launch from Wenchang spacecraft launch site in southern China's Hainan province. And currently, there is only one international space station. China has no access, having been barred involvement by the U.S. over what cause issues of national security. And besides this, why is China building its own space station? Wu Lei tells us more. Here on Earth, an apple will fall due to gravity's influence, but in outer space, it floats like this. But how might this apple mutate in a microgravity environment? What might happen when an astronaut eats this apple? China has sent 11 astronauts into space since 2003. During their time in space, the astronauts have carried out a variety of experiments. But the time for each visit was limited. China is aiming to remedy this by building a brand new space station by the end of 2022, which is expected to remain in space for over 10 years, allowing astronauts who spend time there to engage in longer physical, biological, and cosmological experiments. As for experiments, Chinese scientists are interested in growing plants. These flowers and vegetables were growing from seeds mutated in space. The effects of living in space are also of concern for scientists. Knowing how to guarantee the ability for astronauts to have a healthy long-term stay in space could pave the way for future space travel. China's new space station won't just be for Chinese scientists, but also for global scientists as well. So far, a total of nine projects proposed by 17 countries, including Germany, France, and Italy, have been selected for the first round of experiments to be conducted in this new space lab. This new facility is expected to open up a brand new chapter in human space exploration. Wu Lei, CGTN. And in an exclusive interview with CGTN, Zhou Jianping, the chief designer of China's manned space engineering project, stressed China's space station will be open to scientists all over the world. The space station has three modules. The three-module complex weighs over 60 tons. When it's docked by the cargo spaceship and manned spacecraft, the maximum weight of the space station could reach over 90 tons, nearly 100 tons. As we continue to build and expand the space station, adding more equipment to it, the scale will further grow. What I mentioned is just a startup phase. But the development of China's space station has been subject to some countries' restrictions and confinement. So we should and we must develop it independently and it has been quite successful so far. China's space station, including the main body of the space station, the cargo spacecraft, the manned spacecraft, and the launch vehicle, all spacecrafts and equipments are developed in China. Of course, the scientific experimental payloads involve some international cooperation. We're willing to use our space station as a platform for scientific experiments by global scientists. And now let's take a look at the launch site. Located in South China's Hainan province, Wenchang Space Launch Center is the country's fourth space launch center, as well as its uh, southernmost. And our reporter Ning Hong pays a visit to see how things run. Wenchang's two launch complex rise out of Hainan's tropical forests like repurposed ancient sites. Of the two, the largest, which boasts to a 90-meter high launch platform, was built especially to support China's Long March 5 series rockets. Liquid propellant is added via automatic system when the rocket is on the pad. During liftoff, heat generated by the launch can reach around 3,000 degrees Celsius. To keep the propellant cool during launch, a heat suppression system, the three-story yellow structure, was built to spray water onto the generated flames. It can pump out 400 tons of water in 20 seconds. 
what you are seeing now is the flame trench of this launch pad. You can see that there's a V-shape. The flame trench is designed with the V-shaped deflector below the launch pad, guiding the heat and flames generated by the rocket away from the structure. The location of the launch complex at exactly 19 degrees north latitude, close to the equator, means it can make the best use of Earth's rotation in order to increase rocket speed and reduce fuel needed for heavy payloads. The launch site's observation and control area is mostly above the ocean. This helps minimize the danger caused by falling debris from rockets. Space projects require systematic engineering, which involves all kinds of specialists, which require over 100 seats inside the control center. There are many people who will need to exit the launch complex before an actual launch takes place. They come here to provide support and address any problems that might arise. When Chang has seen two major launches in 2020, a Mars rover, which was carried off to the Red Planet in July, and a probe sent to the Moon to collect lunar samples in November. Generations of space pioneers has brought us here today. Now standing at the beach, it's amazing to think that Earth is nothing but a speck of sand among an ocean of stars. And it, it takes courage and will to find our fate among the stars. And this is where we start. Ning Hong, CGTN, Wenchang. Another reminder here, China is set to launch the core module of its first permanent space station in just one hour. And this module named Tianhe, or Heavenly Harmony, will be lifted into space on a Long March 5B Y2 rocket from the Wenchang spacecraft, a launch site in southern province of Hainan. So be sure to stay tuned for the live coverage of the lit-off in a moment. You're now watching The World Today. We'll be right back.